What is good, Nation? It's Stock J back with another video, and in this one, I'm going to be talking about the one and only AMC stock, what you should be looking out for for the future. I'm also going to do some in depth technical analysis and give you guys my price prediction for tomorrow based off the charts are showing and based off the data is suggesting. I'm also going to break down what's going on with the iBorrow desk and why the cost of our AMC is continuing to go up, and also what AMC share price could be doing for the future. Now, before I break anything down, before I get into any more details, I do have to mention a couple of things before starting. Firstly, I'm not a financial planner. Don't take any of this as financial advice whatsoever. And also, if you guys can, please smash the like button if you want to see more videos like this. Not only benefits me, it benefits the entire Ape community as a whole. And the last thing is, if you guys can, please check out the Moomoo link down below and in the description. If you sign up for Moomoo with the link down below and deposit $100 into the account, you're guaranteed up to 15 free stocks, each worth up to $2,000. And the best part is any of these 15 free stocks could be a free AMC share, a free Tesla share, or a mix of all of them. It's a limited time offer that ends in just two weeks. Check it out before they run out. With that out of the way, let's get on with the video. So looking at AMC, the market's about to close in about a minute. And right now, AMC is up almost 14% for the day. Let's go. AMC is pushing up very hard. Let's see if we can get to 14%. And it's making a very nice move as of right now. And this is actually highly correlated with the overall market. The market is starting to push up a bit. And AMC is now following to a T. It's looking pretty strong right here. We actually broke above that $8 level of resistance. And I mentioned in my previous video that I did see some potential upside for amc i just wasn't as confident that it would be this crazy in just one day you guys can see you have this like big gap all the way up here my target for amc was at like 7.6 to 7.7 range now we're currently at about 7.8 so i was pretty close for the close but it did get a pop all the way above that eight dollar level which goes to show amc might push above eight dollars very soon if the market continues to push up like this now i want to talk about something else that's very good for all amc investors people that are actually betting and going long on amc that is the cost to borrow is continuing to go up which is a very bullish sign for the future now i'm not once again saying that this is going to cause amc to squeeze overnight but if you look at the cost to borrow right now Stonko Tracker showing at 22.7% and the amount of shares available to borrow, which is what these shorts use to short AMC down, it went down to zero. So they used up all their shares. They're struggling to bring it down with the whole market pushing to the upside. And if we are seeing a market-like squeeze event, that could actually help AMC push up too. Now, a market-like squeeze event does not necessarily mean the SPY is going to like push to a thousand a share and like AMC goes to a million overnight. That's not what that means. What it does mean is that we could see some big moves in this perpetuating push to the upside. And once we have a lot of momentum, we start to see a lot of call buying, we could see a big change from there now the etf shares available to borrow is pretty low for amc and this basically shows that the shorts also have a tendency of shorting the spy the nasdaq the russells to bring amc down too and right now they're running out but the other big metric i want to show you was that cost to borrow so if we actually look at the data right here the most recent data is still showing 200,000 shares available to borrow. It could actually be zero, and this hasn't updated yet because this did just update like 15 minutes ago. But anyways, 22.7% cost to borrow. That is insane. And let me show you what this means. So those shorts, in order for them to maintain these short positions and to continue shorting AMC, the cost to borrow these AMC shares to short it is going to the absolute roof. So if you are on the short side of AMC, maybe you made money shorting it down from like 72 and after ape came like the 40s the 30s the 20s maybe you made money all right however however <laughs> excuse me the thing is if you're gonna keep on playing these games forever it's not a sustainable practice because you're losing billions of dollars every single day if you keep on trying to keep this up because when you look at this right here we're currently at levels that are not that far from what we were seeing back in June at 24%. And what's going to happen when we get another rate hike from the Fed? What's going to happen when we start to see a limited amount of AMC shares available to borrow? We're going to see this continue to just push up and up and up after the rate hikes are like near the very start of like September. AMC's cost to borrow was almost 30%. That's crazy, crazy high. You guys can see it right here. In my opinion, if this continues to go on for longer and longer and longer and the Fed remains 
you know, very, very hawkish. If the market continues to price things in like this, the Fed does play a role in this cost of borrow going up, but that's not all there really is to it. It also depends on how many shares are available and what the uh, shorts are able and not able to actually do. So with that said, with utilization still at a relatively high place, it's becoming more difficult to continue to short this thing. And it's really just a very, very long waiting game. So when it comes to shorts, they can't do this forever. Eventually, this cost of bar is going to keep going up and up to 25, 26, 30, 35, 40. And they can't do this forever, guys. It's going to just not make sense. They, they could even be like better off to start covering some of their short positions or rushing to get out of them as quickly as possible. So that's a very good sign that we're seeing. Uh, another thing that's very interesting is the historical trend right here is you will notice that AMC has a tendency of getting those high cost of borrows. Then a month or two later, we get a big pop in the share price. We got that big cost of borrow back in like September. And since then, AMC has just crashed to the downside. It still is very high. So this could be a sign that whether it's the end of the year when the rally happens or maybe a little later, there could be another big a rally coming for AMC. Looking at the data, okay, right now, both AMC and SPY were on a downtrend. They're starting to show some signs of reversal. And I'm anticipating that if the market does push up really hard, AMC's price pairs ratio could start to go up a bit. That will once again be pretty decent for the share price. Looking at the overall data right now, we could see that the seasonality data suggests that Wednesdays tend to be better days for AMC as well compared to Tuesdays. So tomorrow could be another pretty decent day as well. And also it depends on the markets, the short interest for AMC. This is just the daily like volume nose that we're seeing from the reported data. It tends to actually go down a little bit when the share price pushes up. And this is because the short sellers have less of an edge and control over the share price. So right now, those who are going long, the bulls have the edge over AMC. And I want to see a continuation of this push to the upside. Now, AMC does have these gaps down here, which is a sign that we could come down again in the future. But for tomorrow specifically, let me just show you the SPY in the market. Right now, the whole market is starting to push to the upside. So looking at SPY right here, I mean, SPY looks like it wants to keep going. Uh, we, got a, we have this giant gap here, but we got nice volume and pushing up. It's very possible for us to break past resistance at 378 and get back to 380 very soon. If that's the case, AMC has the potential to break past 8.13. And I'd be watching a very key zone at about 8. Well, 8.13 is where we're going to have lots of resistance. Let me draw that out first. This is where AMC has resistance, 8.13. Watch this zone very carefully. Get a break above that. And this thing has the potential to pop pretty hard. It could even go as high as nine bucks before that 8.5 and then nine because this is where we got a bounce right here so let me just draw out these key zones then let me show you what i'm predicting will happen for tomorrow so tomorrow if amc were to drop all right if we get a drop watch out for that uh 7.76 level it's not very strong support if we come below it though 7.5 can get retested break below that then 7.12 if amc pushes up okay uh, watch out for eight dollars we have some resistance there a break above eight then 8.12 to 8.13 is going to be tested amc has gotten rejected there many times resistance is stronger at let me see 8.13 than eight so watch that carefully a break above 8.13 then we're going to be watching 8.47 to 8.5 which amc could actually break and if we get a solid break above 8.47 or 8.5 nine dollars is also very possible with that said what am i predicting for tomorrow i'm a little bit more in favor of the bulls than the bears right now we're gaining some momentum so i'm gonna watch for a move like this into open i'm gonna watch and see if we can get real confirmation of this move to the upside amc is gonna retest this 8.13 level have lots of resistance here and hopefully we get a big break as the day goes on now, we have strong resistance here. We could actually come down a bit, kind of like trade sideways in this zone, stay a little green. But I'm hoping near the end of the day, we get a big break above 8.13. Once we break it, we could end up retesting 8.5. That could be a very good zone for AMC. If we could hold this, it's going to be a good sign of life. And if we manage to get a breakout above that, then $9 could be tested if we're that bullish. But I want to be more conservative and just kind of like peak this at 8.5 for now. Right now, more upside is still very possible. I 
do have to note that it's very dependent on the overall market. So we want to see confirmation of us holding this trend. I'm still a little bit more in favor of the bulls than the bears because October is historically a better month for the markets. Midterms are coming soon. So hopefully this trend continues. So with that said, this is what I'm essentially predicting. Thank you all for listening and have a great rest of the day. AMC to the moon because the long-term future is bright and peace out.